Thank you very much. Um, excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is inspiring for me to know that we are all here to actualize our shared aspiration to address missed opportunities in improving the welfare of women, children, and adolescents with urgency and a spirit of partnership. The Sustainable Development Goals and the Global Strategy for Women, Children, and Adolescents' Health were launched in 2015. Yet with only five years remaining to meet these goals, only 16% of targets are on track, while an overwhelming 84% show limited or no progress. It is deeply concerning that maternal mortality, stillbirths, and neonatal deaths remain critical issues in sub-Saharan Africa and Southern Asia. In 2020, these regions experienced 300,000 maternal deaths, 1.9 million stillbirths, 4.9 million under five children's deaths, and 1 million adolescent deaths. Although Kenya has made considerable progress in reducing maternal and under five mortality, challenges such as inadequate funding and limited capacity to provide essential services persist. We recognize that only a multi-sectoral approach, including healthcare, education, and community support can accelerate mortality reduction. Towards this end, it is therefore essential to increase investment, enhance collaboration, and focus on primary health care to scale up key interventions like skilled birth attendants, vaccinations, and improved nutrition. Recognizing that only urgent Collective action can save millions of lives by 2030. We have pledged to enhance partnerships and establish a dedicated fund for maternal and child health. This fund will help advance progress towards SDGs by improving service delivery and expanding access to essential care. From an economic perspective, keeping people healthy is immensely beneficial. Studies show that every dollar invested in maternal and child health yields $9 in returns through improved health and productivity. Any annual investment of 1.5 billion US dollars could save 35 million lives by 2030 and generate 100 billion in productivity and healthcare savings. We have a singular opportunity to escalate our contributions to global health initiatives and significantly enhance their impact by supporting Africa Health Strategy and Kama Campaign, that's campaign on accelerated reduction of maternal, newborn, and child mortality in Africa as an ideal starting point. It is important to emphasize, however, that investments must be complemented with robust transparency and accountability measures. This is why Kenya supports initiatives like the Africa Peer Review Mechanism and Reproductive Maternal, Newborn, Child, and Adolescent Health Scorecard to track progress and to prevent unnecessary deaths. The return on investment in adolescent health is estimated at between five and ten US dollars spent with school-based and community targeted interventions being highly effective. In Kenya, therefore, we are deploying community health promoters to bring vital health information and services directly to communities as part of our commitment to a sustainable and equitable future by securing the health and well-being of all women, children, and adolescents. We have had a robust conversation in Kenya 
we had two programs that were running. One, Linda Mama, that um, was an insurance program to make sure that every mother who is going to give birth, the government of Kenya pays for the prenatal and postnatal services. We have since, under our new universal health care program, expanded that to include the child up to five years so that we can take care of that moment in time when children are most vulnerable between ages zero and five. We have also expanded what initially we called edu afia or education afia where we had an insurance program for all our secondary school children and our new program we have expanded that to include every child from primary school to age 18 so that every adolescent has a government paid for insurance program to take care of their health needs this expansion of the programs that we are undertaking is in partnerships with friends. And I am very happy that in this audience, Professor Senaito is here, has been working with us, and has gone out of her way to pay for some of our women and children in that program. It is a complementary partnership between private and public in making sure that we secure the health of our people. We have every reason to be confident that together, as President Amaphosa said, we can create the future we envision by prioritizing equity and inclusion in healthcare, in healthcare access, increasing funding, and strengthening our commitment to SDGs. If we can act in unity and without delay, nothing can stop us. And I'm very confident that we will work this together and you have our solidarity, support, and partnership. I thank you.